What's up, Gemini? This is Soul here. And Gemini, we're going to look at your week ahead starting uh, December 4th and ending December 10th, 2023. Gemini, I hope all is well. This week, I'm using the um, Spellcaster's Tarot to deliver your messages. We're going to give it a good shuffle, and then we're going to begin your energy. Please show Gemini what they can expect this week. Show Gemini what they need to know. What's the energy for Gemini? What is the Gemini energy? Okay, I also reversed some cards here, so do not be alarmed or shocked or surprised. Oftentimes, reversals are good. Energies for Gemini. All right, here we go, Gemini. We're going to start off with the High Priestess. Okay, so you know the High Priestess is always about trusting your intuition. Um, trusting the process is the card that represents opposites attract, secrets and crushes being held or kept from you or by you to others. Um, most important thing here is just to remember to trust your intuition this week. The high priestess is here to help guide you. Then you have the Ten of Cups. This is the card that represents emotional love, happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment and contentment. Equal number of cups, so what you give is what you're going to get back. Oftentimes, this card is regarded as one of my marriage cards. So, again, somebody could be getting married this week. But celebrations of all kinds, so it could be birthdays, anniversaries, or, you know, party get-togethers. I know it's a little too early for Christmas parties, but it still could be part of that energy. So that's the Ten of Cups. Then we have the Three of Wands. All right, so you're moving towards something that's very, very positive, Gemini, or it's moving towards you. If you are traveling this week, whether it's vacationing or working, you're safe to and from. Oftentimes, I regard the Three of Wands as um, long-distance romance love affairs. Then we have the uh, Judgment card, Major Arcana, that's in the reverse. All right, so... This card here in the reverse just simply means that um, whatever was uh, hidden from you will possibly be still hidden from you, even though we have the uh, high priestess here. So that might be another further validation of whatever secrets or anything that are kept or held from you or by you still could be in the dark because usually it's uh, what's hidden in the dark comes to the light when it's in the upright. Some of you may be going through a period of... Um, not necessarily introspection, but having to um, deal with some sort of uh, harsh energy here. It's usually positive when it's in the upright. When I say, you know, the judgment is all about not using the judgment in itself against yourself or others or being harsh towards yourself or others. But in the reverse, there could be a possibility of having some sort of harshness or uh, being dealt to you because this is your reading. So I always say it's the potential of energy that may come towards you. So be careful here. It still is regarded as the card of karma. All right. So uh, following the judgment card here, now we have the nine of cups. All right. So this is a very favorable card here. The nine of cups is the wish fulfillment card. It is the yes answer to all romantic questions. It's not an e equal number of cups like the 10 of cups. But it still represents emotional happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment, and contentment involving relationships. It could be also new relationships that are formed. This is an open general reading, so it's not exclusive to romance. It's about family. It's about friends. And, of course, romance. The Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Star card. I'm sorry. The Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups. Uh, the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Ace of Cups are always going to be regarded as the energy of emotional happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment, and contentment when they are in the upright position. The uh, Nine of Cups is equated to that of the Star card in terms of my, of, of my own reading here for you, Gemini. So this is social media, social networking, could be social expansion going on here for a couple of you this week. Not a bad thing. Then we have the Seven of Pentacles, working hard for the uh, income, trying to increase your income. There still would be a pay raise coming in, a moderate pay raise, and also two multiple options that may open up for you this week as well. Underneath the High Priestess, I want to throw on this message, again, trust your intuition. Those gut feelings when it comes to money, work, or finances, definitely trust your intuition, okay? Then we have the Eight of Swords, okay? So you could be possibly... 
overthinking about a situation, person, or an event, um, similar to almost like the nine of swords, but the nine of swords energy is higher. So this is about, you know, worry, concerns, and fears. You're not blindfolded. You're not feeling trapped. If it is some type of energy that you are uh, going to experience, deal with it and try to uh, get rid of it as much as you uh, possibly can and or as fast as you can. Oftentimes, the Eight of uh, Swords for me is a break of communication with family members, friends, and romantic partners. Hence, it is underneath the family card, the Ten of Cups. So you may be overthinking about a situation or conjuring up some sort of energy into your mind about an event, a person, and it may not even be something that comes true. So be very careful here with the Eight of Swords energies. Next up, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Two Pentacles in a reading is auspicious. You already have the Ten of Cups. So this is the card of abundance. This is the one of the big money cards here. So, you know, there could be uh, anything happening in, ter in terms of promotions, um, pay raises, substantial pay raises, bonus money, uh, the single Gemini is taking care of themselves, taking care of all of their needs and their wants, but they're willing to share that energy with anyone who may be coming along. If you're already partnered uh, in a relationship, you're both equally taking care of each other's needs. All right. If it's the absence of money, then you're just feeling abundant about some other area of your life. Also, too, if you are the risk-taking Gemini, you go to casinos or play the lottery, play responsibly because this is big money. Could be big wins or hits. Then we have the uh, Wheel of Fortune, which is a major arcana that is uh, another big money card here. Okay, that's in the reverse. However, this card... Um, and now you have three tens. It doesn't really matter if this Wheel of Fortune is in the uh, reverse position. So it's really trice the energy here. But there is something that may not come to you in terms of some sort of good luck. This is my fate and destiny card. Um, something that may uh, turn around for you or something that you may have been hoping to turn around for you may not come through this week. Okay? Because, you know, in the reverse position is all of those things uh, which is the opposite of the good luck, stroke of luck, good fortune. All right, that's the will of fortune. Last card I have for you is the five of swords, making sure that you are sorting some sort of energies out. You can look at the five of swords here, Gemini, as a reduction of the eight of swords. This card here, you have to be careful of. It's underneath another card that represents relationships. People who play mind games or head games with you. Someone... Or there could be a, something that you have or own or something like that, that someone is envious of you. So be careful. This is temporary energy, okay? And uh, you just need to sort some some energies out here. Shadow energy, we uh, foretell the Knight of Wands. Someone comes in to assist you. This could be a family member, romantic partner, or friend. Also, too, because we have the Nine of Cups as well as the Ten of Cups. And I forgot to mention, too, with the Nine of Cups, uh, the, being that it's the Wish Fulfillment card, anything that you're wishing for um, and hoping to obtain or achieve this week may be realized with the Nine of Cups. Knight of Wands is uh, a card that is um, about attraction, so you are attracting some sort of energy towards you. And it is a card that represents passion, intensity, sexual energy, and sexual expression. It also is here to um, convey that, you know, a relationship may, you know, rapidly take place here. You know, love relationships. It could be business, but it's partnerships that form very, very quickly. Next one up is the Eight of Wands here, and this is pretty good. This is a card that represents communication. And, you know, if you are traveling safe to and from, like the Three of Wands, there could be something that occurs for you this week, Gemini, that puts a smile on your face. Now, that good news can come through a phone call. It could come through the mail. It could come through texting. Um, equal number of uh, wands here. So what you put out there in terms of communications to others will be well received and what communication comes towards you will be well received. A lot of texting going on here with the eight of wands here and it's also a touch of surprise. Last card I have for you is the eight of cups. Okay. Eight of cups is always read differently no matter what deck that I'm using here. And it's about dealing with some sort of emotional, you know, stuff that you may have dealt with in your past. Or it could be for some Geminis having to confront some sort of emotional stuff that may have been left 
uh, unattended to. Okay, so it all depends on really who you are and what you've been dealing with. But I always say uh, on a positive note that you're walking away from some sort of emotional drama, disappointment or let down and now you want to move forward in a positive sense. All right, so this is what I have for you this week, Gemini. It's not really bad. It's really good, actually. Um, so it's just me interpreting the cards. Take what's going to work for you. Give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. You remember to have a great week ahead. Be safe. Keep smiling for me, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.